the de Bortoli name has long been associated with the highest standard of excellence in the Australian wine industry. Vittorio de Bortoli left his native Italy in 1924 to make a new life for himself in Australia. And even in his wildest dreams, the then 24-year-old could never have imagined that his brave new venture would turn into a wine dynasty. So Marcus, you can taste the whole extensive range of de Bortoli here in the Hunter Valley. Can you explain a little bit about the range and what we've got here today? Yeah, sure. I mean, de Bortoli are the sixth largest uh, wine company in Australia, second largest family owned. And we, we make a lot of wine and we have uh, over 60 wines for sale here at the Celador and currently 27 of them are for tasting. Um, the two I've chosen today, we've got um, the Murphy Vineyard Estate Grown Semion. It's grown here in the Hunter, made here in the Hunter, and only sold at this cellar door. And the second wine is our iconic noble wine, Botrytis Dessert Wine. Lovely. Well, let's have a taste. I think we should. <laughs> this is the, the Murphy Vineyard Hunter Semion. Yep. Um, it's now eight years old, been aging in the bottle. Mm. Lovely citrusy character, but also with the age, there's some sort of toasty honey notes mm. coming through as well. That's lovely, Marcus. And what about the dessert wine? Yes, well, Noble One um, is a Botrytis dessert wine. Um, Botrytis, what is Botrytis? Botrytis is a, a mould that infects the, the very ripe berries and shrivels them up, concentrating the sugar. Back in 1982, uh, it was the first vintage that Darren de Bortoli made, Noble One. Got lovely flavours of citrus, um, I think marmalade and honey, mm. but there's also great refreshing acidity. And with uh, a fruit-based dessert, cream caramel or a cheese platter. Oh. Outstanding. The de Bortoli family motto is always striving for better and it seems like the doctrine is being upheld because each bottle of de Bortoli wine seems to taste even better than the last. <laughs>